it's John and Mike from brew-dudes.com. We're here for more videos and tonight we're doing a little tasting. Mm. We've got another blind triangle test set up for Mr. John. <laughs> so um, let me tell you what we're tasting. So this is a English style brown ale. It's one of my favorite styles. Yeah, man. Um, the basic recipe is 85% Maris Otter. I'm sorry, what? 85%? 85% Maris Otter. I was listening, I was listening. It's a 5% Biscuit Malt, 5% mm. Crystal 60, Okay. and 5% Chocolate Malt, the dark stuff, 450. Oh, okay. I think, if I remember right, I think it was uh, Crisp, so. Okay. Or maybe it was Simpsons, so I've already screwed that up. Um, <laughs> Thanks for that. But, yep. And then it was just uh, um, an ounce and a half of EKG for bittering, and that's that's it. And I used Y yeast... 1028 London Ale Yeast to ferment this baby. Okay, London Ale Yeast for all three? For all three. This is not a yeast experiment. Really? But so See, I, I don't did, know anything about this. I, I just got sat down and said, I, hey, three beers, taste so them. I brewed five gallons and I split the batch pre-ferment. Okay. And um, that's all I'm going to tell you. So. <laughs> what? Really? Yep. And I'm just going to say like, okay, this is what I'm tasting. Right. So it's not a yeast. Well, you, let's see, wait a minute. It's not a yeast experiment. See, see if you can just find out, find the outlier. Oh, okay. You've got two of the same, and one is different. I see. Okay. Uh, I would do it, but I I'm, I'm too biased. <laughs> you already know. Mm -hmm. Of course, you already know. You set it up. Yeah. All right. Well, see, like, see, I'm trying to warm these up because yeah. the. Uh, they open themselves up to you as they warm. Yeah, I mean, I've been contemplating um, warming my fridge a little bit. Yeah? Taking a couple of degrees out of the... Um, well, I think that if you turn it to like the warmest setting, I think it's probably going to be at 40 yeah, yeah. degrees. I think that's what I have I, mine at right now. I compete with using the freezer for other stuff, so I like the freezer needs to stay at a frozen temperature. Ah, darn it. I thought I had it. There is um, there's a real m minerally taste to this this B one, so I'm guessing this is brewing salts, brewing salts. This is it's not a water chemistry experiment. It's not. Mm -mm. Man, I thought it was something there, but you it is. I I will say, it's the same yeast, but the test factor is a fermentation uh, factor. Temperature maybe. Yes. Possibly. Yep. All right. It's interesting. It's interesting. I don't think I can. I can taste the difference yet. Hold on. You got. <laughs> you got to. You know. We can actually talk about this. The talk about how you uh, were able to um, ah. set up uh, three or sorry two two different two different fermenters. Okay. Uh, and two different temperatures. One I let ferment ambiently. The other I just nestled in my loins for two weeks straight. That's a picture. <laughs> No, the other one, I slapped a brew belt on it. Now, this was a, a three-gallon carboy with two and a half gallons in it, so I slapped that brew belt on there, and I had it plugged in from the get-go. Yeah. And so it was warm. I mean, it was warmer than what I would normally ferment at. This, thing, this baby was probably pushing like 75 degrees in that ballpark. Yeah. Where the cool one was ambient down here in the basement was about, started at 65, and it chugged along slowly. Um, once, once most of that activity was done, and I had let the the warm ferment go, I um, slid the brew belt over onto the other one just to make sure I finished up some diacetyl. Yep. So what you really have is one that went warm and stayed warm the whole time, and one that had a cooler start to it during yeah. you know, and then um, most of the ferment was all done ambiently yeah. down here in the cool basement at about sixty five degrees. Then I finished it warm. It probably got up to 75 degrees for the finish, but that finish has been building three days, sort of like a diacetyl recipe. Well. So. All right. Moment of truth. I, to be honest, like there's maybe subtle differences, but I, not enough for me to say. It's like super subtle. Clearly, this is the one that's like uh, the difference uh, of the of the three. Um, uh, you know. At first taste, I was like, ooh, the, this has an interesting, there's like some a little character. Um, like, uh, there's a characteristic there that was distinct. And then I started tasting them all, and they all kind of blended together, which 
I was, that's why I was stalling for time. I was like, why don't you tell me more about the process so I can drink more and try to figure out my own process. I think the difference is very subtle and almost too... I, I might be kidding myself. I, I know I cannot pull this out myself in a three-way test. Okay, so I said something silly about it being a little more minerally. I'm going to say, like, you know, B, to me, t tastes the difference of the three, but, you know, it's it's so subtle, like, I can't really tell. So, with a, ferment, with a, a fermentation temperature experiment, yeah. one being warm, yeah. at the high end, if not over temp range, yeah. what do you think you'd be expecting to pull out for a flavor difference? I mean, I guess it'd be like a little fruitier and stuff, mm. but also I'm thinking if it's warmer throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Maybe it attenuates a little bit more, so... <coughs> you want to know what the final gravity is on the two beers? Yes. It's the same. Oh, jeez, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah, someone's got to answer that. Um, the thing is, they never hear that on camera, Usually right? Not. The phone's ringing. That's, That's right. Usually that. doesn't make it to the camera. <laughs> All right, man. Tell me what happened. I don't. I have no idea what the difference is. It's it's so it's cartoon. so minutely subtle. And you're right. Maybe when they're even warmer, it comes out a little yeah. bit. I um, failed. I can't. I don't know. It's really hard, and I, I couldn't do it when I tried it myself. Really? Uh, <laughs> Thank goodness. This is the different one. Yeah. And this is, one is fermented cool. Yeah. Ambient. Those, those are, are the, the two warmer warm ones. ones. Yeah. That's so funny. I so so here's a, here's so this is a great thing. I think some of what's going on, why it's hard to tell the difference, may very well be its style. There's a lot going on in the beer. Yeah. It's caramelly. It's toasty. Yeah, sure. There's a lot. There's, it's very bready. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying them. <laughs> it's yeah, sure. <laughs> the other thing Jeez, that's going on. so hard to figure out. I wish there were more to taste. The other thing that's going on in the beer is that being an English ale yeast, it already has an ester profile, which sure. you might not be getting with this particular yeast strain may not be getting amplified. Mm. The reason why I was really curious about it, because I usually put a lot of effort and labor into temp controlling, but one of my fridges is dead and it's sitting outside there, whereas you do a, you, you have a slightly more relaxed temperature control situation, because you're just in your basement, you kind of put it in a cold corner. For right. ales, yeah, yeah lagers yeah, yeah. are like, lagers you have like, to, you know, right? like drill into this, yeah. Right, um, but you know, I, I'm just, I did this experiment because I'm wondering, when I make these English beers, am I stressing out too much about my fermentation yeah. temperature profile? For this particular beer right? with, yeah, with, I mean, you can't, there is no, uh, well, to me, detectable difference. Yeah. I mean, my main goal was to just revamp my English brown recipe, get back into trying to brew a perfect English brown, and I figured while I was at it, I might as well do something else, yeah. try yeah. to learn something too, so... Yeah. I'm really happy. Yeah, you got what you got. You got, yeah, and it's good. It's so, good. All right. Cool. Thanks, well, buddy. Hey, I, I didn't, don't feel bad. I didn't expect you to be able to do it. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wanted to make sure I couldn't. So <laughs> check us out over at the blog, brewdashjuice.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like Leave a this comment video. if yeah. you've done this type of thing. Yeah, please do. Reach out. And uh, comment. And comment. <laughs> All right. Keep your hands to yourself. Don't reach out too far. Okay? All right. From John and Mike, brew on. Cheers. That's my line. Oh. <laughs>